Good morning, kiddos. Happy Friday, April 16th. I'm back today. I'm so happy to be here with you. Let's get to some birthdays, some shout outs, and then I want to read you a book I'm very excited about. So no staff birthdays today on a Friday, but we do have student birthdays. Um, Takaya Reeves, happy birthday to you, Takaya. I hope you have the best day, honey, and you got a birthday on a Friday, which is cool. Um, Alexander Lee, happy birthday to you, Alexander. And Anthony Ramon Miron, happy birthday to you, Anthony, Alexander, and Takaya. You got a beautiful weather Friday birthday, which is amazing. And I hope that you get to pick whatever you want for dinner tonight. I had my Papa John's pizza last night to support Spirit Night, and it was delicious. And I have it again, leftovers for lunch. I hope you guys get pizza or whatever it is your little heart chooses for your birthday. We have two shout outs. One is from Anonymous. Um, this is actually a staff member who would like to shout out all of the custodians here at Duluth Middle School. Amen. Thank you so much to this person for recognizing our amazing custodial staff. Um, to the head man in charge, Mr. Tyler, you have a great crew working under you. This school wouldn't be able to function without what you guys do for us every single day and you all are appreciated. Thank you, thank you Anonymous for saying that. Our custodians are rock stars. They love us. They don't get enough recognition. And behind the scenes, they're taking care of our building, keeping it clean and beautiful for all of us. So thank you, Anonymous, for, for saying that. And this last one is from Mr. King. It is a shout out for Yiki Chen. She is incredibly kind to everyone she sees. She's always trying to improve in her academics and language arts. She asks great questions. She participates and she even and asks to do additional work to better her skills. She is one of our most persistent, yay, Mr. King, thank you for using our word, persistent students. And Yiki, I have experienced this with you myself, honey, so I totally agree with Mr. King's shout out. You're a rock star student and your persistence makes me proud every day. Okay, you guys, I need big crowds at Saturday school tomorrow. I will be here 9.30 to 12.30, and I want to see every single one of you if you have NTIs or need to work on a reteach, retest module. Be here. We're giving you all this help and all these services. We need you to show up to take advantage, okay? See you tomorrow. Last thing we're going to do today, and I'm so excited about this. I've actually not read this at all, so you and I are going to experience it together for the first time. I told you the, the other day that our Muslim students and staff members are observing Ramadan this month, which is a holy month of fasting. And I didn't know that much about Ramadan, so I asked Miss Kamal Sheikh, one of our sixth grade teachers, if she had any books about it, and she brought me a couple. So we're gonna look at this one today. It's a Curious George children's book, and it's called It's Ramadan, Curious George. So thank you, Miss Sheikh. Let's take a look together. A special month. George can't wait for tomorrow when the month of Ramadan will start. It's a special time of year for his friends and George is going to take part. George and Kareem are so busy helping to cook and bake sweets with a good little monkey joining in. Soon there's a big pile of treats. Kareem is going to try fasting a day without food or drinks. George is curious. Can Kareem do it? A day without, um, sorry guys, I missed a line. He'll need some help, George thinks. George is asleep in his bed when Kareem's alarm starts to beep. Jo Kareem wakes for an early meal, though the sun is still fast asleep. So he's waking up when it's still nighttime for an early meal. Later, when it's lunchtime, Kareem reaches for a piece of bread. Wait! No food until sundown. Jorts keeps him busy instead. Let's play some checkers so you don't think about food. That was a good idea. What is the sound George is hearing? It's a rumbling from Kareem's tummy. George drags him away from the kitchen. Whatever is cooking smells yummy. Waiting for sunset. Everyone gathers together as the sun begins to set. The minutes tick by slowly. It still isn't dark enough yet. Finally, it's time to break fast. Kareem snacks on a sweet date. Then he takes a big gulp of milk 
as George loads more treats on his plate. I did it, George, cheers Kareem. George nods. He's glad to be there. The room is filled with happiness and the peaceful sounds of prayer. So they're able to eat when the sun goes down. It's dinner time. Now it's time to eat dinner. The spread on the table looks great. With something special for everyone, this meal was well worth the wait. Look at all the great choices. Kebabs, curry, veggies, and rice. George spots a big pizza and takes a hot cheesy slice. Now that the meal is over, the best treat has been saved for last. Chocolate dipped bananas to celebrate Kareem's first fast. Sharing with others. Kareem invites George to the mosque. They gather to do a good deed. Together they make food baskets to share with others in need. Wow, look at George join the action. He knows how to lend a hand. And when he spies a shelf full of shoes, George comes up with a plan. No, George, the Imam says with a laugh. Those shoes belong to us here, but you gave me a great idea. We'll add a clothes drive next year. Spotting the moon. Ramadan is almost over. The special month will end soon. George and the man search the sky to catch a glimpse of the moon. There it is, George points. He found it, a thin crescent shining bright. Tomorrow is the Eid festival, but the celebration will start tonight. Kareem gives George a gift, new clothes for Eid, he says. It's a fancy vest for George and for the man, a yellow fez. An Eid celebration. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this word correctly, so I'm gonna ask Miss Kamal Sheikh or look it up myself to make sure that I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sometimes that happens when you're reading and you just have to go figure it out. A happy, a happy Eid, the holiday is here. The mosque is busy and loud. Everyone is dressed in their finest. What a good looking crowd. George greets Kareem with a hug and spends the day with his friend. After hours of feasting and fun, they are sad Eid has to end. But soon it's time to go home and the moon returns to the skies. George thinks of his first Ramadan and smiles as he closes his eyes. Thank you, Miss Shake, for lending me this book. That was a lot of fun. Guys, I want to mention a couple things to you about reading, okay? I had not opened this before, so when I started to read it, it was the, the, the first time I had seen it. And in the first couple pages, I didn't really quit realize that it was written in um, in rhyme and stanzas like a poem it, with, with rhyming words at the end. And so I had to sort of figure that out and adjust my rhythm as I was reading, number one. And number two, I came across that word Eid, and I'm not sure um, that I know how to pronounce it. So I'm going to look it up and first make sure what it is. It, it's clearly, it's a special night in Ramadan. It's just one night and um, it sounds like it marks the end of Ramadan. So I'm going to go look that up to really, really know what it is and also to know how to pronounce it. But the point I'm trying to make is that when we're reading, sometimes we it takes a minute to find our rhythm and it's absolutely okay. So I was thinking aloud for you so that you can see that even grown-ups with a children's book sometimes have to go through strategies in our head to make things make sense. So thanks for reading with me. Thanks for being wonderful. We know this is a hard time. We know you can do it. You will do it. We'll support you every step of the way. We love you. Have a great, great weekend. Bye.